Hi and welcome to another quick technology video. So this one we're going to be looking at our Zoom settings and our OBS Studio settings and how you can record or stream your Zoom session um, and capture the audio from um, doing screen shares within your Zoom. So the first thing that we want to do is you want to um, use a software program called uh, VB cable so this is a it's a virtual um, it's a virtual cable that you output all of your devices into and then set that up into OBS so that it actually captures the audio from your screen or your window so the first thing we want to do is you want to navigate to um, a website so if you open up um, a web browser and search for VB cable go to the website and it's completely free for the first one so the first audio cable device um, is free uh, I've actually got um, a different one installed as well because I use multiple devices so I've actually got A and B um, installed all of my settings are using VB cable B but you can use the uh, virtual cable device it does exactly the same so once you've downloaded and installed that um, and rebooted your PC it will appear in all of your settings so if I click on my um, uh, output audio device um, the way that I've got these screens set up is it outputs the audio from the screen through the HDMI cable and into the speakers on the screen itself. <clears throat> so if you click on your sound options you can see here that I've currently got this screen set for the audio and what I want to do is I want to select um, cable B input so that all of the audio from my screen gets input into that virtual cable so I'm going to select that. The next thing that I want to do is I'm going to close this down and I'm going to open up Zoom um, so you need to have the Zoom client installed and I'm going to go to my settings and then on the audio section for my speaker I'm going to output um, Zoom audio into my cable virtual cable device so again here I'm using cable B but you can use cable input which is the free option it does exactly the same for my microphone I am using a headset and the reason for that is because I'm going to be monitoring the audio in OBS Studio so um, when I'm in Zoom I want to use the same capture device so the same microphone that I'm going to be using for the headset so that I can hear the output in OBS Studio so that's the reason for that so let's close that down the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to OBS Studio and we're going to set up the settings in there so as you can see here, um, my microphone is currently capturing from here because that's what I've got it set to. So the settings you want to select, you want to go into your settings and then you want to go to audio and then for your desktop audio you want to select your um, cable device that you've specified in your settings here. So I'm using cable B input, so I want to use cable B input for my desktop audio. But in your instance, if you're using a free version, you're just going to be using cable input here. And then in your desktop audio here, you're going to be selecting cable input as well. The next section that I come to is the uh, microphone input. So I'm using the microphone input from my headset because I'm going to be monitoring OBS Studio through the headset and then under the advanced monitoring device I'm using my headset so they're all the settings that you need for your audio um, I'm not going to talk through any of the other settings because they are um, you should have those set correctly anyway so I'm only talking about the audio in this video so once that's done as you can see here we are monitoring and we've got we've got input which is good so if I now put the headset on you will see that that will increase um, because the microphone is closer to my mouth so I'm going to leave the headset on for now the next thing is we want to make sure that we can hear um, the desktop audio because it doesn't always work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, a video and let's just grab a video so let's use this one for instance and I'm going to play that
and I can hear it fine so that's all working correctly so let's just close that down for now and as you can see the desktop audio is dropped off here and I can no longer hear it in my headset which is correct now when you're testing this if you're um, if you can't hear the desktop audio you want to come into this setting and go down to advanced options select your monitor to off and then you want to go back in and select your monitor and output to on and you should hear it again so that's all there is to those settings the next thing that we want to do is we want to start a zoom session now um, when I start a zoom session on my PC here your I can't capture the um, video because I've only got one webcam that I'm using to record this video with so there'll just be a picture there but that's absolutely fine so let's go in and start a meeting what I'm going to do I'm actually going to join the meeting on my phone so that you can see the video here and so I'm going to do that quickly so we're going to join with computer audio as you can see here fail to start the video which is correct because I'm actually using it to make this video and I'm going to join on my phone and I'm going to pop myself on mute on here to avoid any feedback like that there we go so what I've done is I've muted the audio and I've muted the microphone on here I'm just going to put that over there for the minute okay so the next thing that we want to do is I'm going to make that screen a little bit smaller like that and then I'm going to we're going to go back to OBS and as you can see here in OBS we are now uh, recording the screen so we should there's our zoom session uh, there the next thing we want to do is um, we've got our audio selected to cable B input so when you go into share content to your zoom audience you use the share option here um, now if you're going to be sharing a video you definitely want to optimize the screen sharing for a video clip and you also want to click on the share computer sound so when I do that and I share my screen you should now see the whole screen change in here what I'm going to do at this moment I'm going to actually start recording or you can start streaming so that's now sharing our screen and we should now be able to open a video and then I should be able to maximize that so let's maximize the video and as you can see here and there you can see the session running inside our zoom and the audio so if I take off the mute so you should be able to hear that you're going to get feedback we're going to load that into the Raspberry Pi then we're going to load um, the Pi Hole software and then we're going to point our clients to it and then just going to go show. back into mute there we go and then I'm going to stop the video and close that down like that and then we can open up our zoom session again so click on stop share that will automatically bring up your main session again and that is all there is to it so what we've talked about there is let me just end this zoom session so it saves my phone battery so what we've done today is we've talked about all of the settings inside zoom inside our um, uh, screen setup and inside OBS and not only can you record it but you can also stream it so if I click on stop recording now I'm going to close OBS down I'm going to go back to our video that we've just recorded and then I'm going to play that back to make sure that uh, all the audio recorded in that so let's play this back okay can't hear it at the moment because I've still got my selection here so I'm going to go back and I'm going to put that back to my screen take off my headset there we go 
that is now coming out in the wrong place so let's go back to the right one that's not it That's now sharing our screen. We'll Turn the volume up so you guys can hear it. Video. Okay, so today we're going to be. And there we go. So we've, uh, we've got the audio. And installing this on I'll just turn it down. <laughs> so we've got the audio inside our Zoom session, and you're either streaming that or recording it. So that's all there is to it, basically. So um, I'll close that down. So we've been through the settings. So first of all, download and install VB cable second setting do your zoom settings so um, set that to use your uh, VB cable as the uh, output device in zoom in OBS studio um, you set your uh, desktop audio to be uh, your virtual cable device you set your microphone to be whatever you're using for your microphone so in our instance we were using the headset because we wanted to monitor and then we set the monitoring device to be the headset so that we can listen to that as well and then the final piece for us was to output the desktop audio into VB cable as well so all of the audio devices go into your virtual input and then that is an input into your desktop audio into OBS Studio and that's all there is to it. So if you found the video useful give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and just like to say thanks for watching.